Hello friends, I'm Adinath Giri from Giri Stack Hub Pune. Welcome in a session of a Spring Boot tutorial. Our friends, now we are discussing a Spring Boot with a database using a Spring Data JPA. Our friends, in part one, we already created a project and installed the Maven dependency. Friends, in part two, we'll discuss about Uh, just wait. In part two, right, we are discussing about how to configure the database configuration in a Spring Boot using a application dot property files and how to map the entity class with a database table. These two points we want to discuss in this session, friends, or in this video. Okay, so friends, if you want to configure the MySQL with a Spring Data JPA, or if you want to configure the Spring Data JPA in a Spring Boot, Right. Using a MySQL, uh, we have the following properties. We have uh, some following properties. Friends, we need to write here a spring dot a JPA dot hibernate dot DDL dash ato equal to update. So, what is the use of this property, friends? We can say this property is used for create the database table if not exist in a database and if exist then update it right this is the purpose of this property because friends a spring data jpa is an orm tool spring data jpa is a orm tool so in the case of ORM, we not need to create a database table manually. It is manageable by the ORM tool. Okay. So right, if we write this property in, in application dot property file, then Spring Data JPA can create a database table automatically, as well as if not exist and if database table is exist, then update it. Okay. It is it is the purpose of this property. So second friends, spring dot data source dot url equal jdbc colon uh, mysql colon slash slash localhost colon 3306 slash of a database name here. Right here, we mention the database name on which we want to work. Okay, here we need to mention your database name because here I am writing a JDBC called MySQL because now I am using a MySQL as a backend database. The next friends we have to write a spring dot data source dot a username equal to a root or username equal to a username of a database. Then a spring dot data source dot a password. Here we equal to a here we need to mention a password of a database password of a database right again here we need to write here one more property spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot dialect equals to org dot hibernate dot dialect dot mysql 8 dialect mysql 8 dialect we need to write this property i just wait friends this is a very more important part so these properties we have to mention why use this property we can say the major role of a dialect is generate the sql syntax through the orm tool as per the database Dialect class means friends here. I am using a, a MySQL as a backend database, 
right so string data jpa can generate internally sql query as per the mysql for that i am configuring i am configuring here a mysql dialect class okay these are the some properties you have to mention in application or property files so friend just just wait first of all i am creating a database in a mysql just i am opening a mysql here just wait friends yeah just wait system first of all i am creating a my database create a database spring boot with a data jp or Spring Boot JP. This is my database, right? So friends here, open the application or property files, right? Open the Spring Suit Suit and click here. And write here all properties. Spring dot, a JPA dot, Hibernate, Spring dot, JPA dot, Hibernate DDL to equal to update. Equal to the update. Spring dot. Data source dot. URL. Spring dot data source dot uh, URL. Equal to. JDBC colon MySQL. Slash slash. Localhost 330 or uh, 6, and here we need to mention a database name. Here we need to mention a database name. Your database is the Spring Boot, D, Spring Boot JPA. Just select this database, copy it. Just wait, friends. Here you have to mention a database name here. Right. Then we need to write here a Spring dot data source dot username equal to your root spring dot data source dot a password equal to system i'm giving right my my mysql password is a system then friends here we need to write a spring dot a jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot spring dot jpa dot property the hibernate a dialect equal to org dot hibernate dot dialect dot here we have to mention mysql dial mysql 8 dialect 8 dialect suppose friends right this dialect class present here Suppose if you want to be in this dialect class, okay, then you can search here. So when coming Maven dependencies, we have here one uh, jar file. The name of a jar is, uh, just wait, uh, Hibernate Core, something is there. Hibernate Core 5.4, just open this jar. Okay, here we have one package, org.hibernate.dialect, just wait. Here we have a package, just wait org dot uh, hibernate dot uh, dialect abc there is one here is one package this is so just open this package then here we have a dialect class mysql 8 dialect just right click here and copy qualified name okay just copy this qualified name and paste your dialect class here just paste this dialect class here and just delete the dot class extension that is very simple so friend this is your a simple yes this is your a simple okay a uh, configuration of a database in application dot property files this is a very simple configuration in database of application dot property file just wait friends i will try to increase the font and just wait uh, just wait friends Structurize text editor, edit, no, it is not increasing, just wait, spring, no. hmm. just, just wait, 
just wait for it. Okay, so you can see these are the properties you have to write. These are the some properties, right? These are the some properties you have to write in a application dot property files. Okay, once we configure, once we configure this, a database property is in application dot property files. Okay, then we need to configure the uh, entity class with a database table with a database table. Okay, so friends here we need to configure the entity class with a database table. So how we can configure? So friends, we need to write like as just entity class in the pojo class, right? So we need to write here a class. I'm writing here employee with some fields, a private int of the ID, a private a string of a name, private int of a salary. Then I'm creating here a public file set ID. This dot ID equal to ID. Public int get ID. I'm returning here a return ID. Public wide set name. String of a name. This dot the name equal to a name. Public string a get name here. I return a name here. Here public wide set salary. Int of a salary, this dot salary equal to a salary. And public int get salary. Here I'm writing a return a salary. It's very simple. Okay. So friend, just wait here. We need to write here at the rate entity. Add the rate table name equal to of employee. Here we need to be right at the rate ID. Add the rate column name equal to uh, employee ID. Add the rate column equal to uh, name equal to of employee name. And add the rate column name equal to of employee salary. This is very simple. Okay, at the these are the some annotations from a Java dot persistent package. If you think here, these are the some annotation from import Java is dot a, a persistent dot star. Okay, so what happened, friends? What is the exact meaning of this? The meaning is suppose consider this is your this is your wire input. This is your wire input. Okay, so all right, this is your wire input, friends. If we if you are not aware about ORM tool, then first of all, I recommend you first of all study the hibernate and then again you can okay see this example. So, friends, what happened? ORM is here. Okay, so this is your ORM. Then ORM C the entity. What is the exact meaning of entity, friends? Here, entity indicator your class name. This is your employee. Okay, and then your table name equal to the uh, name here employee what happened friend this is your database table so as for the rule of a ORM okay for this class uh, for this class means for employee class we have a table in database and the name of the database table is the employee okay the name of a database table is the employee means friends here internally your spring data JPA internally your spring data JPA uh, internally a spring data JPA JPA create the employee table automatically with a mapping of uh, employee class in a Java. Okay, what is the meaning of uh, ID friends? We can say this ID annotation indicator primary key. This ID annotation annotation indicator primary key in a DB. Okay, in a table DB table. Okay. The column is the column is a name equal to employee ID. Means friends, uh, we have a employee ID column in database table as for the ORM. 
as per requirement. We have a database table, employee ID. Means for this property, we have a column. The name of a column is employee ID, and internally it is automatically. Internally, it is automatically primary key is here. This is very simple. Then we have a at the rate column name equal to employee name. The meaning is friends. We have a column name. The name of a column is the employee name is here. It is a simple column. Means for this property, uh, for this property, this property map with this column. Okay. And then we have a third is a at the rate and name equal to employee salary. Means we have one more column in database table. Uh, name of the table is employee. And this table we have one more column. The name of the column is employee salary. And this column associated with this property. That is very simple. So what happened, friends? If you think here, if you think here, we have a, a table, and in this table we have a three columns. ID is here, a name is here, and a salary is here. It is very, very simple. So this is the purpose of entity class. Means friends, we can say in the case of ORM tools, entity class is responsible for to map with a table internally. So friends, now we are creating entity class here. So just open the Spring Boot, okay? Spring Tool Suit, okay? Here in your package, uh, create one new package here. We have one more package, just a package. I'm creating a package dot. Uh, entity entity is here okay just wait then right click here a if a class i'm writing here employee okay just wait just wait friends this is your class just wait Java editor. Just I'm increasing the font. Okay, this is your class. So here you have to write private int of ID, private string of a name, and private int of a salary. So just friend, right click on any property, uh, select setter getters source, and here we have getter setters. Yes, and then select all, then generate here. Right click here, a source and a format. Here, at the rate entity. Yes, then here, at the rate table, name equal to of a employee. Here you have to write at the rate ID. At the rate of column, name equal to of a employee ID. Yes, we need to add its package. Here you have to write at the rate of column, name equal to of a employee name. And at the rate of call, name equal to of employee salary. So this is your entity class configuration. Okay. So friends, in next session, in next video, sorry, in next next part, in next video, we will discuss about creating a controller and a service layer, and a service a layer is here. Okay. And a service layer. Okay. So friends, if you like our videos please subscribe the channel okay and share the videos okay thank you friends.